Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins. I'm the owner of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to be discussing how to find the circumference for a circle. This question is found on the ASVAB exam. So let's go ahead and look at the question. What is the circumference of a circle with a radius of 70 inches round to the nearest whole number? So I have drawn a picture of a circle with the radius marked and the radius is just the point from the center of the circle to the exterior of the circle. And when we talk about circumference, what we're talking about is the perimeter or the outside measurement of the circle. So my formula for some circumference is 2 times pi times r and pi can be either used as 3.14 and, or 22 over 7. They both represent pi. Sometimes on the exam they will tell you which one to use, but either one works. And I'm going to do use both of them just to show you. So let's go ahead and use 3.14 first. So my circumference is equal to 2 times 3.14 times 70. So the first thing, now I can multiply this in any order. So I'm actually going to multiply the 70 times 2 first. So I'd end up with 100 and 40. Now I'm going to take that 40 since I've taken care of this number and this number I just need to multiply by 3.14. So I've got my 3.14 and I'm going to multiply that by 140. Now one of the things that I do if I have a 0 at the end I just put it over so that it's just over to the right of my to, uh, top number because 0 times anything is 0 and I'm just going to bring that 0 down here. And I'm going to start from here. So 4 times 4 is 16. I'm going to carry my 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, now I'm going to be multiplying from the hundreds place. So I'm going to put two zeros here. And then 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 3 is 3. Now I'm just going to add these numbers together. So I have 0, 6, 4 plus 5 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So I end up with 400. 39, 16. Now I do have the decimal up here, so I'm going to start from the right side and go over two places and place my decimal here. Now they tell me to round to the nearest whole number and the six, the number to the right of the decimal is going to determine whether I round up or keep it the same. Since it's six, I'm going to round up because anything five or greater, we would round up. So I'd end up with 440 inches. Now I'm also going to show you of doing the same problem but instead of using 3.14 I'm going to use the 22 over 7. So I'm still solving for my circumference and the only difference is I'm going to put 22 over 7 but otherwise the problem set up exactly the same. Since this is in fraction form, I just want everything in fraction form. So if I want to make a whole number into a fraction, I just put a 1 underneath it because any number over 1 is still that same number. So I haven't changed the value. So what I'm going to do here is use cross cancellation and cross cancellation is where I look at a denominator and a numerator and see if they have a common factor that I can reduce them by. So here I'm going to look at 7 and 2. Well they have nothing in common. They're both prime numbers. 
but I'm going to look at 7 and 70, and they do. They both have 7 in common. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Sorry, this should be a 1, and this would be 10. So now I have all 1s along the bottom, which means I no longer have a fraction. All right, so I'm going to multiply 2 times 22, which is equal to 44. times 10, which is going to give me 400 and 40 inches. So I still get the same answer whether I put it use the 3.14 because I have to round to the nearest whole number or if I use the fraction. So I hope that this was helpful, and um, please make sure to check YouTube for my other videos for uh, assistance on the ASVAB. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Jennifer Mullins from Mullins Tutoring Incorporated.